Hey guys, so I've got uh, something kind of special for you today, and that is a full vintage computer system here that I've recently put together and has kind of just blown up on Instagram. I don't know what it is, but everyone seems to be going crazy for this thing on Instagram. I got like 3,700 likes for this thing, uh, which is a lot more I've gotten on anything else. Trust me, uh, I'm not that popular. But uh, yeah, I can kind of see the appeal. I did make some effort to kind of turn my desk here into a little, you know, almost like retro time warp here from my uh, childhood and like early teens, probably more like it. But uh, I put some shelves and I got this nice little lamp here. And uh, yeah, what I went with is is Dell, um, which is not a computer brand that I had as a, as a kid. Um, they were certainly around, but, um, you know, like Gateway, IBM, Micron, uh, it's just too expensive. We always ended up getting, like, whatever we could uh, cobble together. It was a no-name brand, brand case and, you know, whatever components we could afford. So, um, which was fun, but um, I always kind of lusted after a name brand computer. So, uh, I went and tried to get all the components mainly from, I mean, all the main components, the keyboard the monitor and the uh, case at least the main computer um, from dell and put those together the speakers are all tech lansing and the, the mouse is microsoft but really dell didn't really produce much in terms of peripherals anyway uh, now unfortunately you know i i've got this computer on ebay and it was an excellent shape i mean still aesthetically an excellent shape and, you know, the seller, they uh, had clear evidence that it was working, you know, the pictures of, of uh, the operating system and everything. And uh, I got this thing. It was in its original box, packaged up really well. You know, the shipper did a re really good job getting this prepared for shipment. So it, it's somewhere along the way, for some reason, uh, the motherboard got fried because I've tried just about everything including swapping out the cpu and i cannot i could not get this computer to work um you know it's supposed to be a pentium it's pentium 120 uh, an old dimension xpss uh, pentium 120c which would have been fine would have been mid 90s kind of system which was originally what i was going for um but you know since that didn't work i was like i'm gonna switch in uh swap out a another at board and why not go with something a little peppier, right? So I ended up putting a Pentium 3 600 megahertz, a 600E slot one processor in there. I paired it with a Radeon uh, 7500 and a Sound Blaster 16 for compatibility. And I'm very happy actually with how this turned out because, you know, I can slow down that processor when needed, um, but it's powerful enough to play basically every 90s game and again, in the early 2000s, it gets iffy, but, you know, like Unreal Tournament runs fine, uh, Quake 3 runs fine, and a lot of the older games that are a little speed sensitive, you know, even without, say, CPU killer or something like that, they might run a little fast, but 600 megahertz is generally slow enough for a lot of the games that I played, say, in the mid-90s, and even some from the early 90s, on this computer just fine, so... You know, is it the sweet spot? Maybe. You know, it kind of depends on what kind of games you're interested in. But if it's 90s overall, I'd say this is pretty close. It's kind of a Pentium 3 system. Uh, maybe even a high-end Pentium 2 uh, might work for some people in the 450 uh, megahertz range. I believe that was the fastest. But overall, uh, very pleased with the system. I like how it came together aesthetically. I'm, my previous video is just about the keyboard. I do really like the keyboard. The monitor is superb. I've also got, in addition to the 17 inch uh, Dell Trinitron, which is of course Sony produced, I've got a 19 inch version and I love them both. Um, I did end up going with the 17 inch for the system uh, just because that was a bit more realistic, you know, quite honestly. I was not buying a $1,000 19 inch trinitron flat screen monitor in the 90s um, th this monitor didn't even come out until i think 2001 or 2000 
Um, but I definitely, I had a 15 inch monitor mostly throughout the nineties. And then I remember right around 2000, getting a 17 inch monitor CRT and just being kind of blown away and very excited about that upgrade. So, um, yeah, so I think I will just play a few games here so you can see the system in action. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's anything I'm kind of missing, um, extra upgrades or changes you'd like to see with this, uh, please let me know. And I do plan on making uh, some other videos kind of talking about some of the more specifics with this particular build if you're interested. Um, one of the main things being this particular case is actually easier to work with than some of the later Dell cases. They start getting into proprietary, you know, power reset cables that become a problem but not this one actually which is one of the benefits of going with this computer if you plan on doing any upgrades with it